In fluid dynamics, airy wave theory often referred to as linear wave theory gives a linearist description of the propagation of gravity waves on the surface of a homogeneous fluid layer. The theory assumes that the fluid layer has a uniform mean depth, and that the fluid flow is inviscid, incompressible and irrotational. This theory was first published, in correct form, by George Biddle Airy in the 19th century. Airy wave theory is often applied in ocean engineering and coastal engineering for the modeling of random sea states, giving a description of the wave kinematics and dynamics of high enough accuracy for many purposes. Further, several second order nonlinear properties of surface gravity waves, and their propagation, can be estimated from its results. Airy wave theory is also a good approximation for tsunami waves in the ocean, before they steepen near the coast. This linear theory is often used to get a quick and rough estimate of wave characteristics and their effects. This approximation is accurate for small ratios of the wave height to water depth for waves in shallow water, and wave height to wavelength for waves in deep water. Description Airy wave theory uses a potential flow or velocity potential approach to describe the motion of gravity waves on a fluid surface. The use of, inviscid and irrotational, potential flow in water waves is remarkably successful, given its failure to describe many other fluid flows where it is often essential to take viscosity, vorticity, turbulence and or flow separation into account. This is due to the fact that for the oscillatory part of the fluid motion, wave-induced vorticity is restricted to some thin oscillatory Stokes boundary layers at the boundaries of the fluid domain. Airy wave theory is often used in ocean engineering and coastal engineering. Especially for random waves, sometimes called wave turbulence, the evolution of the wave statistics, including the wave spectrum, is predicted well over not too long distances in terms of wavelengths and in not too shallow water. Diffraction is one of the wave effects which can be described with airy wave theory. Further, by using the WKBJ approximation, wave shoaling and refraction can be predicted. Earlier attempts to describe surface gravity waves using potential flow were made by, among others, Laplace, Poisson, Cauchy, and Kelland. But Airy was the first to publish the correct derivation and formulation in 1841. Soon after, in 1847, the linear theory of Airy was extended by Stokes for nonlinear wave motion, known as Stokes wave theory, correct up to third order in the wave steepness. Even before Airy's linear theory, Gerstner derived a nonlinear trochoidal wave theory in 1802, which, however, is not irrotational. Airy wave theory is a linear theory for the propagation of waves on the surface of a potential flow and above a horizontal bottom. The free surface elevation eta x t of one wave component is sinusoidal as a function of horizontal position x and time t eta. X T equals a cos K X minus Omega T display style eta X T equals a cos left K X Omega T right where a is the wave amplitude in meter cos is the cosine function K is the angular wave number in radian per meter, related to the wavelength lambda as K equals two pi lambda. Display style K equals frac two pi lambda. Omega is the angular frequency in radian per second, related to the period t and frequency f by omega equals 2 pi t equals 2 pi f 
Display style omega equals frac two pi t equals two pi f. The waves propagate along the water surface with the phase speed cp. C p equals omega k equals lambda t. Display style c underscore p equals frac omega k equals frac lambda t. The angular wave number k and frequency omega are not independent parameters, and thus also wavelength lambda and period t are not independent, but are coupled. Surface gravity waves on a fluid are dispersive waves, exhibiting frequency dispersion, meaning that each wave number has its own frequency and phase speed. Note that in engineering the wave height h, the difference in elevation between crest and trough, is often used h equals 2 a and a equals 1 2 h display style h equals 2 a q quad text end q quad a equals frac 1 2 h valid in the present case of linear periodic waves underneath the surface there is a fluid motion associated with the free surface motion while the surface elevation shows a propagating wave, the fluid particles are in an orbital motion. Within the framework of airy wave theory, the orbits are closed curves, circles in deep water, and ellipses in finite depth—with the ellipses becoming flatter near the bottom of the fluid layer. So while the wave propagates, the fluid particles just orbit oscillate around their average position. With the propagating wave motion, the fluid particles transfer energy in the wave propagation direction, without having a mean velocity. The diameter of the orbits reduces with depth below the free surface. In deep water, the orbit's diameter is reduced to 4% of its free surface value at a depth of half a wavelength. In a similar fashion, there is also a pressure oscillation underneath the free surface, with wave induced pressure oscillations reducing with depth below the free surface, in the same way as for the orbital motion of fluid parcels. Mathematical formulation of the wave motion Topic: Flow problem formulation. The waves propagate in the horizontal direction with coordinate x and a fluid domain bound above by a free surface at z. Topic: Eta x t with z the vertical coordinate positive in the upward direction and t being time. The level z. Zero corresponds with the mean surface elevation. The impermeable bed underneath the fluid layer is at z equals h. Further, the flow is assumed to be incompressible and irrotational. A good approximation of the flow in the fluid interior for waves on a liquid surface, and potential theory can be used to describe the flow. The velocity potential phi x z t is related to the flow velocity components u x and u z in the horizontal x and vertical z directions by u x equals phi x and u z equals phi z Display style u underscore x equals frac partial phi partial x quad text and quad u underscore z equals frac partial phi partial z. Then, due to the continuity equation for an incompressible flow, the potential phi has to satisfy the Laplace equation. One, two, 
phi x 2 plus 2 phi z 2 equals 0 Display style one q quad frac partial caret two phi partial x caret two plus frac partial caret two phi partial z caret two equals zero. Boundary conditions are needed at the bed and the free surface in order to close the system of equations. For their formulation within the framework of linear theory, it is necessary to specify what the base state or zeroth order solution of the flow is. Here, we assume the base state is rest, implying the mean flow velocities are zero. The bed being impermeable leads to the kinematic bed boundary condition. 2 phi z equals Zero at z equals minus h display style two q quad frac partial phi partial z equals zero quad text at z equals h in case of deep water, by which is meant infinite water depth, from a mathematical point of view, the flow velocities have to go to zero in the limit as the vertical coordinate goes to minus infinity, z infinity. At the free surface, for infinitesimal waves, the vertical motion of the flow has to be equal to the vertical velocity of the free surface. This leads to the kinematic free surface boundary condition. Three. Eta t equals phi z at z equals eta x t display style three q quad frac partial eta partial t equals frac partial phi partial z quad text at z equals eta x t if the free surface elevation eta x t was a known function this would be enough to solve the flow problem however the surface elevation is an extra unknown for which an additional boundary condition is needed this is provided by Bernoulli's equation for an unsteady potential flow. The pressure above the free surface is assumed to be constant. This constant pressure is taken equal to zero, without loss of generality, since the level of such a constant pressure does not alter the flow. After linearization, this gives the dynamic free surface boundary condition. 4 phi t plus g eta equals 0 at z equals eta x t display style 4 q quad frac partial phi partial t plus g eta equals 0 quad text at z equals eta x t because this is a linear theory, in both free surface boundary conditions, the kinematic and the dynamic one, equations 3 and 4 the value of phi and phi, z at the fixed mean level z equals zero is used. Equals Topic Solution for a progressive monochromatic wave equals For a propagating wave of a single frequency a monochromatic wave the surface elevation is of the form eta equals a cos k x minus omega t display style eta equals a cos kx omega t the associated velocity potential, satisfying the Laplace equation in the fluid interior, as well as the kinematic boundary conditions at the free surface and bed is 
phi equals omega k a cosh k z plus h sin k h sin k x minus omega t Display style phi equals frac omega k a frac cosh b i g l k z plus h big R sin k h sin k x omega t with sin and cosh the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine function, respectively. But eta and phi also have to satisfy the dynamic boundary condition, which results in non-trivial non values for the wave amplitude only if the linear dispersion relation is satisfied. Omega two equals g k tan h k h Display style omega caret two equals g k tan h k h with tan h the hyperbolic tangent. So angular frequency omega and wave number k, or equivalently period t and wavelength lambda, cannot be chosen independently, but are related. This means that wave propagation at a fluid surface is an eigenproblem. When omega and k satisfy the dispersion relation, the wave amplitude a can be chosen freely, but small enough for airy wave theory to be a valid approximation. Topic table of wave quantities in the table below, several flow quantities and parameters according to airy wave theory are given. The given quantities are for a bit more general situation as for the solution given above. Firstly, the waves may propagate in an arbitrary horizontal direction in the x equals x y plane. The wave number vector is k and is perpendicular to the cams of the wave crests. Secondly, allowance is made for a mean flow velocity u in the horizontal direction and uniform over independent of depth z. This introduces a Doppler shift in the dispersion relations. At an earth fixed location the observed angular frequency or absolute angular frequency is omega on the other hand in a frame of reference moving with the mean velocity u so the mean velocity as observed from this reference frame is zero the angular frequency is different it is called the intrinsic angular frequency or relative angular frequency denoted as sigma so in pure wave motion, with u equals zero, both frequencies omega and sigma are equal. The wave number k and wavelength lambda are independent of the frame of reference and have no Doppler shift for monochromatic waves. The table only gives the oscillatory parts of flow quantities, velocities, particle excursions, and pressure, and not their mean value or drift. The oscillatory particle excursions xi x and xi z are the time integrals of the oscillatory flow velocities u x and u z respectively. Water depth is classified into three regimes: deep water for a water depth larger than half the wavelength, h greater than one half lambda. The phase speed of the waves is hardly influenced by depth. This is the case for most wind waves on the sea and ocean surface. Shallow water for a water depth smaller than the wavelength divided by 20, h intermediate depth. All other cases, one twentieth lambda. Surface tension effects Due to surface tension, the dispersion relation changes to omega 2 k equals g plus gamma rho k 2 k tan h K H 
Display style omega caret two k equals left g plus frac gamma rho k caret two right k tan h k h with gamma the surface tension with SI units in n per meter. All above equations for linear waves remain the same if the gravitational acceleration g is replaced by g tilde equals G plus gamma rho k two display style tilde g equals g plus frac gamma rho k caret two. As a result of surface tension, the waves propagate faster. Surface tension only has influence for short waves, with wavelengths less than a few decimeters in case of a water-air interface. For very short wavelengths, 2 mm or less, in case of the interface between air and water, gravity effects are negligible. Note that surface tension can be altered by surfactants. The group velocity omega k of capillary waves dominated by surface tension effects is greater than the phase velocity omega k. This is opposite to the situation of surface gravity waves with surface tension negligible compared to the effects of gravity where the phase velocity exceeds the group velocity. Topic: <laughs> Interfacial waves. Surface waves are a special case of interfacial waves, on the interface between two fluids of different density. <laughs> two layers of infinite depth Consider two fluids separated by an interface, and without further boundaries. Then their dispersion relation omega two equals omega two k is given through omega two k equals k rho minus rho rho plus rho g plus gamma Rho plus Rho K two Display style Omega carrot two K equals K left FRAC Rho 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 plus Rho G plus FRAC Gamma Rho plus Rho K carrot two right where rho and rho are the densities of the two fluids, below rho and above rho the interface, respectively. Further gamma is the surface tension on the interface. For interfacial waves to exist, the lower layer has to be heavier than the upper one, rho greater than rho. Otherwise, the interface is unstable and a Rayleigh-Taylor instability develops. Topic: Two layers between horizontal rigid planes. For two homogeneous layers of fluids of mean thickness h below the interface and h above, under the action of gravity and bounded above and below by horizontal rigid walls, the dispersion relationship omega two equals omega two k for gravity waves is provided by omega two. K equals G K Rho minus Rho Rho Koth K H plus Rho Koth K H Display style omega caret two k equals frac g k rho 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 koth k h plus rho koth k h, where again rho and rho are the densities below and above the interface, while koth is the hyperbolic cotangent function. 
for the case ρ is zero this reduces to the dispersion relation of surface gravity waves on water of finite depth h. <laughs> Two layers bounded above by a free surface In this case the dispersion relation allows for two modes, a barotropic mode where the free surface amplitude is large compared with the amplitude of the interfacial wave, and a baroclinic mode where the opposite is the case, the interfacial wave is higher than and in antiphase with the free surface wave. The dispersion relation for this case is of a more complicated form. Second-order wave properties Several second-order wave properties, i.e. quadratic in the wave amplitude A, can be derived directly from airy wave theory. They are of importance in many practical applications, e.g. forecasts of wave conditions. Using a WKBJ approximation, second-order wave properties also find their applications in describing waves in case of slowly varying bathymetry, and mean flow variations of currents and surface elevation. As well as in the description of the wave and mean flow interactions due to time and space variations in amplitude, frequency, wavelength and direction of the wave field itself. Topic. Table of second-order wave properties In the table below, several second-order wave properties, as well as the dynamical equations they satisfy in case of slowly varying conditions in space and time, are given. More details on these can be found below. The table gives results for wave propagation in one horizontal spatial dimension. Further on in this section, more detailed descriptions and results are given for the general case of propagation in two-dimensional horizontal space. The last four equations describe the evolution of slowly varying wave trains over bathymetry in interaction with the mean flow, and can be derived from a variational principle, Witham's averaged Lagrangian method. In the mean horizontal momentum equation, d x is the still water depth, i.e. the bed underneath the fluid layer is located at z equals d. Note that the mean flow velocity in the mass and momentum equations is the mass transport velocity u tilde u including the splash zone effects of the waves on horizontal mass transport, and not the mean Eulerian velocity e.g. as measured with a fixed flow meter. <laughs> <laughs> Wave energy density Wave energy is a quantity of primary interest, since it is a primary quantity that is transported with the wave trains. As can be seen above, many wave quantities like surface elevation and orbital velocity are oscillatory in nature with zero mean within the framework of linear theory. In water waves, the most used energy measure is the mean wave energy density per unit horizontal area. It is the sum of the kinetic and potential energy density, integrated over the depth of the fluid layer and averaged over the wave phase. Simplest to derive is the mean potential energy density per unit horizontal area e pot of the surface gravity waves, which is the deviation of the potential energy due to the presence of the waves. E pot equals minus h eta rho g z d z Minus minus h zero rho g z d z equals one two rho g eta two equals 
1 4 row g a 2 Display style e underscore text pot equals overline int underscore h caret eta row g z text d z int underscore h caret zero row g z text d z equals overline frac one two row g eta caret two equals frac one four row g a caret two with an overbar denoting the mean value which in the present case of periodic waves can be taken either as a time average or an average over one wavelength in space. The mean kinetic energy density per unit horizontal area ekin of the wave motion is similarly found to be E kin equals minus H 0 one two row U plus U X two plus U Z two D Z minus minus H zero one Two row U two D Z equals one four row Sigma two K ten H K H A two Display style e underscore text kin equals overline int underscore h caret zero frac one two row left left bold symbol u plus bold symbol u underscore x right caret two plus u underscore z caret two right text d z int underscore h caret zero frac one two row left bold symbol u right caret two text X D Z equals FRAC one four row FRAC Sigma carrot two K ten H K H A carrot two with Sigma the intrinsic frequency, see the table of wave quantities. Using the dispersion relation, the result for surface gravity waves is E kin equals one four Row G A two display style e underscore text kin equals frac one four row G A caret two. As can be seen, the mean kinetic and potential energy densities are equal. This is a general property of energy densities of progressive linear waves in a conservative system. Adding potential and kinetic contributions, EPOT and ECHIN, the mean energy density per unit horizontal area E of the wave motion is E equals E pot plus E kin equals 1 2 rho G A Two display style e equals e underscore text pot plus e underscore text kin equals frac one two row g a caret two. In case of surface tension effects not being negligible, their contribution also adds to the potential and kinetic energy densities, giving e pot equals e. Kin equals one four row G plus gamma K two a two so E equals E 
pot plus e kin equals 1 2 row g plus gamma k 2 a 2 Display style e underscore text pot equals e underscore text kin equals frac one four left row g plus gamma k caret two right a caret two q quad text so q quad e equals e underscore text pot plus e underscore text kin equals frac one two left row g plus gamma k caret two right a caret two with gamma the surface tension. Topic: <inaudible> Wave action, wave energy flux, and radiation stress. In general, there can be an energy transfer between the wave motion and the mean fluid motion. This means that the wave energy density is not in all cases a conserved quantity, neglecting dissipative effects, but the total energy density, the sum of the energy density per unit area of the wave motion and the mean flow motion, is. However, there is for slowly varying wave trains, propagating in slowly varying bathymetry and mean flow fields, a similar and conserved wave quantity, the wave action. Equals e sigma display style math call a equals e sigma a t plus u plus c g a equals zero Display style frac partial math call a partial t plus nabla c d o t left left bold symbol u plus bold symbol c underscore g right math call a right equals zero with u plus c g o Display style left bold symbol u plus bold symbol c underscore g right math call a the action flux and c g equals c g e k display style bold symbol c underscore g equals c underscore g bold symbol e underscore k the group velocity vector action conservation forms the basis for many wind wave models and wave turbulence models it is also the basis of coastal engineering models for the computation of wave shoaling Expanding the above wave action conservation equation leads to the following evolution equation for the wave energy density E T plus U plus C G E plus S U equals zero Display style frac partial e partial t plus nabla c d o t left left bold symbol u plus bold symbol c underscore g right e right plus math b s left nabla bold symbol u right equals zero with u plus c g e Display style left bold symbol u plus bold symbol c underscore g right e is the mean wave energy density flux s display style math b s is the radiation stress tensor and u display style nabla bold symbol u is the mean velocity shear rate tensor. In this equation in non-conservation form, the Frobenius inner product 
s u display style math b s sad face nabla bold symbol u is the source term describing the energy exchange of the wave motion with the mean flow only in case the mean shear rate is zero u equals zero display style nabla bold symbol u equals mathsf zero the mean wave energy density e display style e is conserved the two tensors s display style math b s and u display style nabla bold symbol u are in a cartesian coordinate system of the form s equals s x x s x y s y x s y y equals i c g c p minus 1 2 e plus 1 k 2 k x k x k x k y k y k x k y k y c g c p e i equals 1 0 0 1 and u equals u x x u y x u x y u y y Display style begin aligned math b s and equals begin p matrix s underscore x x and s underscore x y s underscore y x and s underscore y y end p matrix equals math b i left frac c underscore g c underscore p frac one two right e plus frac one k caret two begin p matrix k underscore x k underscore x and k underscore x k underscore y 2 x k underscore y k underscore x and k underscore y k underscore y and p matrix frac c underscore g c underscore p e math b i and equals begin p matrix 1 and 0 0 and 1 end p matrix quad text and nabla bold symbol u and equals begin Begin P matrix display style frac partial u underscore x partial x and display style frac partial u underscore y partial x two x display style frac partial u underscore x partial y and display style frac partial u underscore y partial y and P matrix end aligned with k x display style k underscore x and k y Y display style k underscore y the components of the wave number vector k display style bold symbol k and similarly u x display style u underscore x and u y display style u underscore y the components in of the mean velocity vector u display style bold symbol u. Topic: Wave mass flux and wave momentum. The mean horizontal momentum per unit area M display style bold symbol M 
induced by the wave motion, and also the wave-induced mass flux or mass transport, is m equals minus h eta rho u plus u x d z minus minus h zero rho u d z equals e c p e k Display style bold symbol M equals overline int underscore H carrot eta row left bold symbol U plus bold symbol U underscore X right text D Z int underscore H carrot zero row bold symbol U text D Z equals FRAC E C underscore P bold symbol E underscore K which is an exact result for periodic progressive water waves, also valid for nonlinear waves. However, its validity strongly depends on the way how wave momentum and mass flux are defined. Stokes already identified two possible definitions of phase velocity for periodic nonlinear waves. Stokes' first definition of wave celerity S1, with the mean Eulerian flow velocity equal to zero for all elevations z below the wave troughs, and Stokes' second definition of wave celerity S2, with the mean mass transport equal to zero, the above relation between wave momentum m and wave energy density E is valid within the framework of Stokes' first definition. However, for waves perpendicular to a coastline or in closed laboratory wave channel, the second definition S2 is more appropriate. These wave systems have zero mass flux and momentum when using the second definition. In contrast, according to Stokes' first definition S1, there is a wave-induced mass flux in the wave propagation direction, which has to be balanced by a mean flow U in the opposite direction, called the undertow. So in general, there are quite some subtleties involved. Therefore also the term pseudo-momentum of the waves is used instead of wave momentum. Topic: Mass and momentum evolution equations. For slowly varying bathymetry, wave and mean flow fields, the evolution of the mean flow can be described in terms of the mean mass transport velocity. U tilde. Display style tilde bold symbol U. Defined as U tilde equals u plus m rho h display style tilde bold symbol u equals bold symbol u plus frac bold symbol m rho h note that for deep water when the mean depth h goes to infinity the mean eulerian velocity u Display style bold symbol u and mean transport velocity u tilde display style tilde bold symbol u become equal. The equation for mass conservation is t rho h plus rho h u tilde equals 0 display style frac partial partial t left row h right plus nabla c d o t left row h tilde bold symbol u right equals 0 where h x t is the mean water depth slowly varying in space and time Similarly, the mean horizontal momentum evolves as T rho H U tilde plus 
rho h u tilde u tilde plus 1 2 rho g h 2 i plus s equals rho g h d Display style FRAC partial partial T left row H tilde bold symbol U right plus Nabla CDOT left row H tilde bold symbol U O times tilde bold symbol U plus FRAC one two row G H carrot two Math B I plus Math B S right equals row G H Nabla D with d the still water depth the seabed is at z equals d s display style math b s is the wave radiation stress tensor i display style math b i is the identity matrix and display style o times is the dyadic product u tilde u tilde equals u tilde x u tilde x u tilde x u tilde y U tilde y u tilde x u tilde y u tilde y display style tilde bold symbol u o times tilde bold symbol u equals begin p matrix tilde u underscore x tilde u underscore x and tilde u underscore x tilde u underscore y two x tilde u underscore y tilde u underscore x and tilde u underscore y tilde u underscore y end p matrix note that mean horizontal momentum is only conserved if the seabed is horizontal ie the still water depth d is a constant in agreement with noether's theorem the system of equations is closed through the description of the waves wave energy propagation is described through the wave action conservation equation without dissipation and nonlinear wave interactions t E sigma plus U plus C G E sigma equals zero. Display style frac partial partial t left frac e sigma right plus nabla c d o t left left bold symbol u plus bold symbol c underscore g right frac e sigma right equals zero. The wave kinematics are described through the wave crest conservation equation. K t plus Omega equals zero. Display style frac partial bold symbol k partial t plus nabla omega equals bold symbol zero. With the angular frequency omega a function of the angular wave number k, related through the dispersion relation. For this to be possible, the wave field must be coherent. By taking the curl of the wave crest conservation, it can be seen that an initially irrotational wave number field stays irrotational. Topic: <laughs> Stokes drift. When following a single particle in pure wave motion, u equals zero. Display style bold symbol u equals bold symbol zero. According to linear airy wave theory, a first approximation gives closed elliptical orbits for water particles. 
However, for nonlinear waves, particles exhibit a Stokes drift for which a second order expression can be derived from the results of airy wave theory. See the table above on second order wave properties. The Stokes drift velocity u s display style bar bold symbol u underscore s which is the particle drift after one wave cycle divided by the period can be estimated using the results of linear theory u s equals 1 2 sigma k a 2 cosh 2 k z plus h sin 2 k h e k Display style bar bold symbol u underscore s equals frac one two sigma k a caret two frac cosh two k z plus h sin caret two k h bold symbol e underscore k. So it varies as a function of elevation. The given formula is for Stokes' first definition of wave celerity. When rho U S display style row bar bold symbol U underscore S is integrated over depth. The expression for the mean wave momentum m display style bold symbol m is recovered. Topic. See also. Boussinesq approximation water waves nonlinear theory for waves in shallow water capillary wave surface waves under the action of surface tension sinoidal wave nonlinear periodic waves in shallow water solutions of the court weg de vries equation mild slope equation refraction and diffraction of surface waves over varying depth Ocean surface wave, real water waves as seen in the ocean and sea. Stokes wave, nonlinear periodic waves in non shallow water. Wave power, using ocean and sea waves for power generation. <laughs> Notes <laughs>